Hello, everybody. My name is Sean, and I want to talk to you guys about dreams and why they're so special, why they're so unique, and why everyone in this room should go home tonight caring about all these other things. But when you're lying down, think about your dreams, because you're going to go there, whether you want to or not. You're going to go there. You don't have a choice. But what's so unique is every person on the planet is in the exact same situation. That no matter your race, creed, religion, where you live, where you grow up, where you die, all these things don't matter because you're alive and you dream whether you want to or not. In fact, all mammals dream. That means right now there's a panda having a panda dream. There's a dolphin <laughs> having a dolphin dream. Whatever the heck that is. <laughs> Rodents, all animals. So it's not just part of being human. It's part of being a living, breathing creature. Now, of course, science is very interested in this. About in the past 100 years, they really got involved. But they haven't been able to study the actual dream. You know, we can look at a person who's in a dream and we can see signs and go, okay, yes, you know, they're probably in a dream now, but we can't take our tool into the dream and have a camera and you know, look at it. So the investigation isn't really on the dream, it's on the person. And in fact, when you're asleep, your brain looks exactly like your brain when it's awake. When you kick a ball in a dream, it's just like kicking a ball in real life to your brain. So you could be in an aquarium receiving these signals, and you would still think you're looking outside of your head. You would have no idea. And that's so powerful that every night we're deceived, we're tricked into thinking that we're in these real realities. And that's the experience, because you are there. The dream happened, you remembered it, and now you're here. It's on the exact same timeline as the rest of your life. So there's no reason to discount it as a dream, because it's a true experience. Now I'll talk about one of my first experiences that really got me into dreaming. And it was specifically a lucid dream. And a lucid dream is where you're in a dream, but you're aware of it. Now, being awake isn't a point on a map. It's a perception of reality. And so one morning, I was supposed to take my friend to school, and he decided to play hooky. So I was like, OK, I don't have to drive you. I'll just go back to sleep. We both want to sleep. This is great. Almost instantly, my body was sucked to my bed. I started to vibrate. And I heard these crazy mechanical noises and squishing. And there was a pinpoint right in front of me. And I fell into it, into another body. This happened instantly, completely sober, wasn't on anything, drunk, anything that you can think of. The only thing I was on was life. And I came looking out in the back of my friend's van, looking at my hands. And he stared at me and said, you did it. You did it. And I knew almost instantly what he was talking about, that I was in a dream, but I was totally aware of it. And it felt no different than walking through a door. Usually we go to sleep, we don't remember going to sleep, we wake up, we kind of have a half-remembered dream. This was a tangible experience on the same timeline of my life. And it changed me forever because it felt real. I was doing these crazy super jumps around the neighborhood that I grew up in. And I started to become concerned. I was like, am I? Am I running around my apartment like a madman right now? Am I sleepwalking? Like, this feels so freaking real. And the truth is, I wasn't running around, and I woke up right where I left off. But it felt real because it was real, because it happened to me. Now, I'm not the first person to get involved in this. Tibetan dream yoga has been around for thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians believed that dreams could actually help us learn how to deal with the dying process. There are international conventions. This is me with author Robert Wagner. Uh, as before I shaved my hair and beard so I could appear not as a hippie to you guys, and maybe you'd believe me. <laughs> so there, there are all these opportunities to get physically involved with something that doesn't happen outside, it doesn't happen inside this world. So why should you care? Well, you should care because it happens to you whether you care or not. You're going to have dreams every night. You're probably going to have seven, nine of them a night, depending on how long you sleep. So that's why you should care. Because there are seven billion people on this planet, and we know so little about dreams, scientifically, what goes on there, that without everybody actively being a scientist, we could never actually know the truth of where that place is. What is the physics like in that place? Why does it react to us? The dream wants you to be aware of it. Most lucid dreamers learn that skill through nightmares. The dream literally is confronting with them until they acknowledge that it's there and become aware of it. So the dream, it's not just a passive thing. There's actually an intelligence on the other side that's attempting to communicate with you. We go to space. We send men to the bottom of the ocean to look at Titanic. We do all these great scientific things, but you're not looking at your own self. You spend one third of your life asleep. So if you lived every, one, every minute perfectly, you would still receive a 66%. That's a D. 
in life. So come talk to me and learn how to bring that up to an A. Thank you.